Welcome, and thank you for joining us for this installment of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Quality Webinar Series. In this webinar, we will review STS measure development and the process of quality measure endorsement by the National Quality Forum. Joining me today in this presentation is Banu Yaja, who serves as the STS Manager of Quality Measures, and Dr. Mark Antman, who is the Senior Manager of Quality Measures and Initiatives for the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. My name is Richard D'Agostino, and I am a cardiac surgeon at Leahy Hospital and Medical Center in Massachusetts. I am a member of the STS Adult Cardiac Surgery Database Task Force and also currently serve as a member of the Standing Surgical Committee of the National Quality Forum. I have no disclosures. In this webinar, we will review the fundamental components of the Society's measure development infrastructure and the key stages of measure development and implementation. We will also discuss how measure development and subsequent NQF endorsement benefits our specialty and our patients. And lastly, we will outline the rigorous process of quality measure endorsement by the National Quality Forum. Established in 1989 as an initiative for quality improvement and patient safety, the STS National Database is widely regarded as the gold standard for clinical registries. Over its more than three decades of operation, the STS National Database has progressively expanded to include its current four components, each focusing on a different area of cardiothoracic surgery. Currently, over 5,500 physicians participate and the registry contains more than 8.4 million surgical records. The STS National Database forms the foundation for all cardiothoracic surgery quality measurement and quality improvement activities for the society. The comprehensive data contained in the STS registry are used to support nationally benchmarked performance assessment and feedback to participants the progressive enhancement of sophisticated risk adjustment models, the public reporting of cardiac surgery outcomes, as well as supporting clinical outcomes research. Process and quality of care measures are refined on an ongoing basis to reflect current knowledge and practice. This in turn supports further quality improvement initiatives at the national, regional, and local level. Measurement is the key to performance improvement. The STS Quality Measurement Task Force and the National Database Analytics Center collaborate in risk adjustment model and performance measure development. STS uses numerous risk factors in its risk adjustment models along with various methods to assess the model's performance, including assessing both discrimination and calibration. A good discrimination shows that a model can distinguish patients likely to have an event from those who are not likely to have one. In addition to this, a model with good calibration shows whether there is a close match between the observed outcome and the estimated outcome. Manuscripts describing the design considerations, development, and statistical methodology of risk models and performance measures are published in the peer-reviewed literature, primarily the Annals of Thoracic Surgery. From an initial focus on one procedure, one outcome, and one level of attribution, the STS quality measures have evolved tremendously within the last decade. STS now has an impressive portfolio of composite measures, each with multiple domains and some that include both outcomes and process measures. Risk models are applied in the data analyses and performance measure results 
are provided in the STS National Database Participants Feedback Reports. Many of STS's composite measures are publicly reported on the STS website. This is a voluntary initiative launched over a decade ago. STS performance measures, as well as the risk models on which they are based, are reviewed and revised regularly to ensure alignment with database specification upgrades and new clinical guideline recommendations and protocols. A good example is the recent update of the cabbage composite measure. With hospitals isolated cabbage volumes declining and case mix severity increasing, smaller annual cabbage volumes and the conservative 98% credible intervals led to a limitation in the ability to discriminate levels of performance. Consequently, the Quality Measurement Task Force decided it was an appropriate time to update the methodology of the composite. Soon to be released in participants' feedback reports, the updated cabbage measure will use three years of data and 95% credible intervals. The National Quality Forum is a nonprofit, nonpartisan, membership based organization that brings together public and private sector stakeholders to reach consensus on healthcare performance measurement. The goal is to make healthcare in the U.S. better, safer, and more affordable. NQF measures and standards serve as a critically important foundation for initiatives to enhance healthcare value, make patient care safer, and achieve better outcomes. This important work covers an array of cross-cutting issues and builds upon 15 years of evidence-based measure endorsement that is the gold standard for healthcare quality measurement. NQF's endorsement process is a transparent, consensus-based process that brings together diverse healthcare stakeholders from the public and private sector to foster quality improvement. Most developers put their measures through a rigorous process long before NQF considers them for endorsement. NQF's careful review and assessment gathers input from stakeholders across the healthcare enterprise and develops consensus among those stakeholders about which measures warrant endorsement as the best in class. When organizations use the same NQF endorsed measures, they know they are measuring the same things. These types of comparable data can be used by policymakers, researchers, providers, and consumers to identify gaps in measurement and better understand quality issues that may be present across healthcare. A number of the society's measures are used in CMS reporting and other payer programs. NQF's formal process to evaluate and endorse measures is called the CDP, Consensus Development Process. The first step, intent to submit, requires each measure developer to submit a form that displays the measure developer's readiness to submit measures for endorsement consideration. SMP is a technical panel consisting of individuals with methodological expertise providing NQF standing committees with evaluations of scientific acceptability using NQF standard measure evaluation criteria for new and maintenance measures. The SMP review helps inform the NQF standing committee's endorsement decision. All currently endorsed measures with updated testing and complex measures such as composite outcome, instrument-based, cost, resource, and efficiency measures going through the endorsement process for the first time are reviewed by the SMP during the intent to submit period. SMP review may not be required for previously endorsed measures if there are no changes to the measures. NQF has two endorsement cycles each year, one in spring and the other one in fall, during which previously endorsed measures and new measures are reviewed. Endorsed measures are reviewed every three years. Before each endorsement cycle, measure developers, including the STS, are notified of measures that are due for endorsement maintenance. STS takes a team approach to measure submission preparation. Surgeon leaders review various sections of the required forms to ensure the measures are supported with the most recent publications. Statisticians from the Database Analytics Center provide testing data required by NQF, and the STS staff pull together all information necessary to ensure complete submissions to NQF. 
All measures submitted for initial endorsement or endorsement maintenance are required to meet the five major measure endorsement criteria as stated in the NQF measure evaluation criteria and guidance policy. First four of these, importance to measure and report, scientific acceptability of measure properties, feasibility, and use and usability are must-pass criteria. Initial review of the measure submission materials is conducted by the NQF staff who reviewed the documents for completeness and within four to six weeks following submission, create a preliminary analysis for each measure and follow up with the measure developers for any additional information or clarification that may be needed. After these initial steps, the responsibility for the evaluation of submitted measures rests primarily with the 14 standing committees, which conduct detailed reviews and discussions and vote on the measures for potential initial endorsement or endorsement maintenance based on the endorsement criteria previously described. There are 14 NQF standing committees that evaluate all submitted measures. Each committee accepts and reviews up to 12 measures in each of two cycles per year. As noted previously, the majority of STS measures go through the surgery standing committee, with just one or two of our measures reviewed by the All-Cause Admission and Readmissions Committee. Once the measures are in the hands of the standing committee, committee members have an opportunity to do their own review of the measure documents, add comments, and identify any concerns they may have about whether the measures meet the endorsement criteria. As with the preliminary analyses, these comments are shared with the measure developer, but any additional responses from the measure developer are then held for the measure evaluation meetings. One or two day measure evaluation meetings, which may be held in person or by web conference, are the opportunity for the standing committee to conduct a detailed discussion of each submitted measure with the participation of the measure developer to formally vote on whether and how well each endorsement criterion is met and to ultimately determine if each measure moves forward through the subsequent steps of the endorsement process. These meetings are open to all NQF members and the public. Measure developers are asked to participate in the measure evaluation meetings to answer questions from the standing committee, and to generally defend the importance and scientific soundness of their measures. STS is usually represented by one or more members of the quality team, surgeon leaders with expertise in the measures under review, and at least one representative from our data analytics center. The standing committee meetings are organized to allow for detailed discussion of each measure, with votes taken to confirm that each endorsement criterion is met plus a final vote on the measure's overall suitability for endorsement. All votes are tallied carefully to ensure that consensus is reached. The result of this voting process is for each measure to either be continued through the public comment process toward possible endorsement or returned to the measure developer for further development or refinement. A hallmark of the NQF endorsement process is the comment period which gives NQF members and interested members of the public the opportunity to submit comments on measures through the NQF website. The commenting period begins very early in the measure review process, once all measure documentation has been submitted to NQF for evaluation. The final 30-day phase of this comment period begins when NQF staff post their draft report with the Standing Committee's endorsement recommendations and notify NQF members that the report is available for review. The draft report also includes a detailed summary of committee discussions in formulating their recommendations, as well as all measure documentation. In its entirety, the commenting period lasts approximately 16 weeks. At the end of the comment period, the Standing Committee holds a post-comment call to review all comments received and to consider any possible revisions to its endorsement recommendations in preparation for final approval. The body charged with the final approval of all endorsement decisions is the Consensus Standards Approval Committee, or CSAC. The CSAC includes members with expertise in measure development, implementation, and reporting, plus individuals with the perspectives of consumers and purchasers, and it's their responsibility to ensure that NQF's measure evaluation criteria 
are applied consistently across all measure topics. The CSAC reviews each standing committee recommendation for endorsement, either upholding it or, in some instances, sending the measure back to the committee for reconsideration. All measure endorsement decisions are shared publicly on NQF's website. And approximately every three years, each measure must be resubmitted and re-evaluated against NQF's criteria for maintenance of endorsement. Finally, a 30-day period is available for any interested party to appeal a CSAC decision to endorse or not endorse a measure. This table shows some of the reductions achieved in adverse outcomes for the STS Cabbage Composite measure between 1998 and 2016. Event rates over this 18-year period have decreased by over 31% for operative mortality, and among the major complications included in the Cabbage Composite, we've seen a 50% reduction in sternal infection and a nearly 66% reduction in reoperation. The right half of the table shows comparable increases over the same time period in compliance with the process measures in the Cabbage Composite. These improvements range from a 23% increase in the administration of antiplatelet drugs at discharge to a greater than 78% increase for antilipid drugs at discharge and 83% for preoperative beta blockers. These significant improvements in surgical care and outcomes could not have been achieved without active surgeon participation in the STS National Database, a robust measurement and reporting process, and STS engagement in the NQF measure endorsement process. Thank you.